Hey guys, I'm Kevin from thefilmmakersblog.com and in this video, we are going to fix unlinked footage before it even happens. It's the most annoying thing that can happen when you're editing, other than Adobe crashing. That's, <laughs> don't even get me started on that. But Adobe crashing, it's the software's fault for messing up. For unlinked footage, it's really your fault or my fault. I'm calling this both out because I've had some problems with unlinked footage in the past and you probably have too since you clicked on this video or you're just here to see what's up with the filmmakers blog and I appreciate that. We all know how to fix unlinked footage. You just right click on the file in need, go to relink media and then scour through your entire computer to find the clip. Now that only works if you haven't changed the title of the file, otherwise you are just straight out of luck, but it works. But the point is that you don't wanna be in that position and do that over and over again for every project in the future that you mess up and have unlinked footage. The problem was created way before we got to this point where we actually have to relink the media. It was created when we were importing all of our files. So let's move over to the computer and look at a free downloadable template I've created that I use to organize all of my footage so we can fix unlinked media before it even happens. All right, now that we've headed over to the computer, I wanna show you what this template looks like. So I have it on my desktop right here. Don't really worry about the incredibly large icons I have going on. So this is the template that I've created and it comes in in six parts. You have downloads, photos, project files, footage, exports, and graphics and VFX. Now this one right here is just a blank folder. This is what you will get when you download the template. A buddy of mine created this and I kind of adopted it from him and I love it so much I wanted to share it with all of you guys. So this is going to be a real live in look on how this template can be used. I'm going to be showing you the project files for my latest film, The Long Walk, and let's go ahead and get started. This first file right here is the downloads file. In this file, we use this for anything that we've downloaded off the internet. All the imports coming in from our composer all goes right here because it has been downloaded. So our second folder is the exports folder. And what I use this one for, like it says exports, but I only export all of my Premiere project files or my main editor files in this folder. As you can see, we kind of broke it down by scene while we were starting out, but then have our full length versions at the end. Moving on is our footage or our raw media or raw footage. We broke this down by week because we shot you know, every weekend. And then furthermore, we broke it down by role and by audio role. Moving on to PF or project files. This is where we keep the project files for any timeline that we've created either in Adobe or After Effects. And as you can see, we have an After Effects file as well as a Premiere file. And last, technically second to last, and I'll tell you why, is our photos folder. Here we just kind of keep, you know, photos from the day. We have some BTS stills here from just shooting some of the action sequences that we were doing. And there's that a toilet shot for you all. And then we have some stills, so dramatic stills. Right now we only have one, but this could be used as a poster or anything to send to festivals when you're entering your film as a dramatic still. The one thing that's not in here that is in our template is the VFX. Now this is a very personal thing. You can either just throw the VFX into your downloads folder or your exports folder if you'd like to do that. I like to keep it separate because when I'm working with my VFX guy and we're talking back and forth, I find it much easier to find the clips I need to send him if I just organize it in this folder. So the way I'd use this folder is I'd find any clip that needs effects and I'd put it into this folder and send it out to my VFX artist. And then once he sends it back, I'll put the finals in this folder as well. And like I said, I just like to keep it separate from the exports just as a personal thing. But when you download this template, you can choose to use it or just throw it in the exports or the downloads folder. So having that template and organizing your media is one big step to success. But there's one thing that could really throw you off and it's downloads. When you're downloading things off the internet or when you're working with other editors and they're sending in VFX or music and you're downloading it, well, that goes straight to your downloads folder in your computer. And when you drag that into your project file, it created a link to the downloads folder on your desktop. Ooh, excuse me, on your desktop. Now, when you move computers, that will be lost. The link will be broken because it's still on your home desktop, wherever you're going. I assume you're 
going over to your buddy's house to edit. Let's just say that. It, the link is gonna be broken. So what you have to do is everything that you download, you put into the downloads folder into the Premiere project template that we were just looking at and then put it into your project. That way the link is between the project file and the downloads folder for the project. So I hope I covered unlinked footage and how to avoid it before it even happens. If you have any comments or questions or you wanna see more videos about certain topics, throw me a comment below. I'd love to see what you have to say. Just remember that unlinked footage starts in the organization process. You will solve so many problems if you organize your projects correctly. I'm Kevin from The Filmmaker's Blog. Make sure you like and subscribe if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, leave me a fat thumbs down. You know, anything is better than nothing, honestly. And I'll see you next week for Filmmakers Friday. In the front row, kicking back old school trash like them. Can't get enough of this more like I don't even know where I am. Ooh, baby, get hyped to the beat. Let's go, cause this is our jam. This is our jam.